At 118 years old, Dracula's beloved daughter Mavis found her zing when Johnny, a human backpacker, stumbled into their Hotel for Monsters, Hotel Transylvania. Despite Johnny's lack of fangs and Mavis's full vampire genes, seven years later, the two, Mavis, now 125 years old, and Johnny, 28, fell madly in love and decided to get married. Later, they had a baby, Dennis. Vampa Drac insisted on calling him by his vampire name, Denisovich. Johnny's human family and Dracula's monster friends loved the new addition. But was the baby human or vampire? Technically, you have until you're five to get your vampire fangs. Wayne the werewolf explained. Frankenstein, Murray the mummy, Griffin the invisible man, and Blobby agreed. Oh, he'll get his fangs. He's a Dracula, Drac bragged. Years passed at Hotel Transylvania, and things changed. Humans and monsters learned to coexist. Mavis was a doting mom. She baby-proofed the hotel and fed Dennis only avocados. Drac hated this type of coddling, especially Dennis's favorite video series, Cakey the Cake Monster. The concerned Vampa constantly checked Dennis's mouth for signs of fangs. Dad, please, he's practically five already. Don't force it. Unlike Drac, Mavis did not mind if Dennis turned out to be human. Other monster kids at the hotel didn't care that Dennis was fang-free. Winnie, a girl wolf pup, was head over tail in love with Dennis. At a werewolf birthday party, Winnie gave her crush a big hug. She exclaimed, knocking Dennis to the ground. Dennis was having a blast. Then, during a frenzied bout of musical chairs, Dennis's tooth was knocked out. Oh, yes, indeed. Here comes the fang, Dracula predicted. Mavis blamed herself for putting Dennis into such a dangerous situation. This is Denisovich's home, Dracula said. He tried to convince Mavis that, monster or not, the boy needed to get used to a little roughhousing. Mavis did not agree. We've been talking about moving. Somewhere safer for Dennis. Maybe where Johnny grew up in California. I'm sorry, but you can't just make somebody something they're not. Drax friends agreed that too many cakey videos and avocados stunted Dennis's adult fang growth. So maybe you gotta get the kid around more monstery things. Ooh, Frank suggested. Drax's eyes lit up. What a great idea. He would send Johnny and Mavis on vacation. Then, Drac and his monster friends would have Dennis all to themselves for scary monster activities, and Dennis would be sure to sprout fangs. Mavis agreed to a trip to California to see if Johnny's hometown was a good place to raise Dennis. After Mavis and Johnny were whisked to the airport, another hearse pulled up to the hotel. Drac, Dennis, Frankenstein, Wayne, Murray, and Griffin all rushed to the vehicle. Blobby couldn't fit inside, so he rode a rascal alongside. The gang was off, determined to bring out Dennis's monster. Each monster tried to show Dennis how they used to scare humans. Frankenstein jumped out of the bushes to freak out two joggers. Unfortunately, Frank was so famous that the joggers were excited to see him. They even asked for a photo, so Frank happily took a selfie with them as Dennis devoured an avocado. Then it was up to Wayne and Murray to show Dennis how scary monsters behave. But a frisbee distracted Wayne from chasing down a deer, and Murray threw out his back trying to conjure a sandstorm. The trip was almost over, and Dennis showed no trace of fangs. Hey, you know who could fix the kid in a snap? Vlad, Frankenstein offered. Drac refused to consider calling his dad. What? We don't need to call Vlad. We got this. Determined as ever, 
Drac led the group to the top of a rickety tower. The other monsters tried to object, but Drac wasn't having it. Quiet. This is how they learn. You throw them and they figure it out. It's how I was taught. Dracula tossed Dennis off the tower and he plummeted toward the ground with no sign of flight. Dracula flew off and saved Dennis just in time. A passerby filmed it and the video went viral. In California, Mavis and Johnny watched in horror as their son nosedived to the tune of a silly Dracula remix. They raced home to see their son. I was worried Dennis wasn't safe around other monsters. Now I don't even feel like he's safe around you. Mavis scolded her father. We'll have his birthday party here on Wednesday. Then we're moving. Mavis stormed off, Johnny trailing behind her. At dinner that night, Mavis announced she'd invited Vlad to Dennis's party. She wanted Dennis to meet her vampa before the move. Dracula forced a smile. Sure, great, peachy, good old Vlad. Dracula realized he had to hide Dennis's half-human side from his old-school human-hating father. He convinced Mavis and Johnny to have a costume party for Dennis's fifth birthday celebration, where all the humans would dress as monsters. A mean-looking crony named Bella entered the corridor of a dark cave with an envelope, the invitation to Dennis's party. Vlad emerged from the darkness and opened it. Holy rabies. He finally invites me to something. He's got a grandkid? And he never told you? Bella roared. Easy, Bella. At least there's another vampire in the family. Vlad read on. It's at a hotel? Fancy schmancy. Dennis's family and friends all gathered at Hotel Transylvania for the party. Dennis was really excited to see his friends, especially Winnie the werewolf pup and Cakey the cake monster, who Mavis booked as entertainment. Outside, Vlad arrived with Bella. You know what? Just wait outside for me. This is family stuff. You'll only get in the way. Bella fumed with anger. Vlad entered the party as Bella spied through a window. Drac was plotting with Johnny, who was decked out in full vampire garb, when Vlad entered the ballroom. All right, there's my vamp son. Vlad swooped up Dennis and immediately realized his vamp son was a late fanger, like his own boy. Yes, <laughs> just like me, <laughs> Dracula admitted. Vlad devised a plan to scare the fangs out of Dennis. They would possess something Dennis found sweet and innocent. Drac pointed to Keiki. That's your guy. Keiki was dancing on stage. Hey, kids, it's me, Keiki. What a wonderful Keiki day it is. Now I have a question. Who here loves cake? Drac gave his father the signal. The old-school vampire focused a disgusted glare on syrupy Keiki. Rise, Vlad commanded. Keiki floated off the ground, levitating in the air. Drac turned to the confused birthday boy. Scary, huh, Denisovich? You feeling anything? Any change? Dennis was concerned. Is Keiki okay? Keiki was not okay. He was spinning in full circles, his eyes were bulging, and cakes were hurling rapidly out of his mouth. Panicked guests were pelted and covered with crumbs and icing. Dennis jumped into Dracula's arms. I'm scared, Papa. What's happening to Cakey? Dracula couldn't watch his precious grandson suffer any longer. Stop, Stop it! He commanded. Cakey returned to normal. Hey, what did you just do? A few more seconds and the kid's fangs would have popped right out! Vlad reprimanded. I don't care, it's it's not worth it! Dracula countered. What's not worth it? Mavis interjected. Dracula tried to explain the party possession, but a huge fight came to a head between all the adults. Dennis ran away from the fighting and out of the hotel, with Winnie close behind. 
The only creature that saw the two children flee the party was the angry Bella. Dennis was in tears as he sprinted into the woods. Dennis, where are you going? Winnie asked with concern. Away! Dennis cried. But it's not safe out here by ourselves. I know a place where we can hide. Follow me. Winnie led Dennis to the dog fort, where they hid high up in a tree. Without warning, the roof was suddenly ripped off the fort. Bella stared down at the terrified kids. Well, well, well! The little human and his pet. The families finally realized the kids were missing. Drac blamed himself for putting Dennis in danger. Vlad shook his head. You're a fool! Drac snapped back at Vlad. Your great grandson is the sweetest, kindest, most special boy I've ever met. And if you can't give him the love he deserves because he's half human, then you're the fool. Dracula was sick with worry about Dennis. Where could he be? Bella had Dennis and Winnie in his clutches. Winnie bit Bella's hand, and Bella flung Winnie off, throwing her to the ground. Dennis was enraged. His eyes transformed to a fierce red, and he sprouted beautiful, sharp fangs as he transformed into a bat. Exploding with vampire power, Dennis roared with a booming vibration that hurled Bella into a tree. Dennis's howl echoed through the woods, loud enough for the worried families to find the kids. Bella tried to run when he saw Drac and the gang approaching. Before he could, Vlad burst to the front of the group and froze Bella in his tracks. Don't ever come near me or my family again. Dracula was overwhelmed with a new love and respect for his father. Dennis ran to his vampa. Papa Drac, I'm a vampire and a superhero. Am I cool now? Dracula embraced Dennis, so happy to be reunited. Dennis, you were always cool. Human, vampire, unicorn, you're perfect no matter what. Grateful to be safe and reunited, the group returned to Hotel Transylvania to continue Dennis's fifth birthday celebration. When Mavis called out, "Let me hear you sing!" Everyone joyfully sang "Happy Birthday" to Dennis. Then ate cake, surrounded by loving family and friends, both human and monster. The end.